I'm here at AQS Quilt Week in Paducah, and Janet Stone won two awards here at the show. She also won a third place in the Wall Quilt Stationary Machine Quilted, sponsored by Baby Lock category. Yes. Yeah. Well, so we have more sheep, don't we? We have more, always more sheep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what's the story behind this quilt? This uh, is actually my pandemic quilt. Um, I started it when I got uh, furloughed from my day job. Uh, I had a stack of fabrics from French General, which I really adore their fabrics, and uh, I was kind of wanting to make a 25th wedding anniversary quilt because our anniversary was coming up for my husband and I, so this is what happened. Well, I'll tell you the first thing that catches my eye, or two things really, is has to do with your quilting, is the beautiful straight lines in this grid and you mark your grid? I do mark it. Um, um, you know, it's really nice that I found out that this um, prize was sponsored by Baby Lock, and I do quilt on a Baby Lock Aria. Uh -huh. um, it's got a little bigger bed, and I have it embedded in a table and lots of support behind it. So, um, but yes, I do mark um, all the straight lines. I don't use a ruler or anything. I'm actually pretty good at following lines. So as long as I mark the lines, I can follow them pretty well. The other thing is the micro stippling in the mm -hmm. background. Mm -hmm. Is that time consuming? It takes time. It's a little mindless, but I enjoy doing it. I did the little kind of dots in this one. Uh, I did mark where I wanted the little circles, um, and I think that kind of added to it. It'd be a little boring without those, but um, yeah, I actually kind of like doing, I know a lot of people don't like stippling, and they don't like the look of it, or they don't like to do it, but it's, I've always liked doing it. Well, it certainly meshes the background, yeah. so your yes. other items pull forward. Yeah, right. Well, you've used some interesting fabric because I see you've used like a stripe, uh, you've used a plaid, mm -hmm. and done it on the bias. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just a homespun um, fabric. I have kind of a collection of those. I like them because I kind of like this style of quilt, kind of a little more folk art, primitive mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the prints, like I say, are French generals, which I've been collecting those for years. and. Knew I wanted to do a quilt kind of featuring them one, at one point, and this became it. Uh, the sheep on this quilt, uh, there's eight sheep on this quilt. Four, my, it's my husband and his three siblings, and myself and my three siblings. This is my half-brother here, so he just gets half billing, he's <laughs> a half sheep. <laughs> he thought that was pretty cute. And, yeah. I bet he did. <laughs> well, and uh, how do you do your applique then? Because it's a raw edge um, uh, applique with a blanket stitch on a uh, machine, yeah. A fusible. I do use fusible. Looks to me like you have more buttons on this quilt in the border too, do you? I do. Uh, I did a little XO um, border to, you know, because it was our anniversary quilt. Um, this was just a fussy cut fabric that I um, uh, covered buttons around and then uh, found this little, there's a little metal kind of frame around it that I found those on um, the internet somewhere. And so that type of a treatment, you would actually glue that on the, the little quilt button. There? Yes, I do. Uh huh. I have. I've found a glue that I really like a lot. Uh, the little metal embellishments are hot fix. Um, they're like a hot fix crystal, but they're just like little flat uh, metal pieces. Well, congratulations on a third place award. Thank you. And we can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. Me, me either. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't wait to see what you do next and be sure to enter those quilts in the AQS Quilt Contest. And we hope we'll see you soon at an AQS Quilt Week event.